We've been in a series that has been diving deep into what the Bible really says about certain topics. Meg's senior pastor, Jim White, has laid out so well where the Bible stands on topics like AI, politics, immigration, and now this past week, abortion and IVF. If any of those topics interest you, you can find the full messages on our YouTube channel. But let's jump into today's reflection of this past weekend's message. Whether you're a Christian or not, I think we can all agree that sometimes we hear a stance on a topic that we should believe, and maybe our past actions or decisions haven't always reflected that. We can sometimes feel shame, hurt, offense, and even a lot of regret. But let me remind you of a little thing called grace. In the letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Ephesus called Ephesians in the Bible, it says, for it is by grace that you've been saved through faith. And it is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works. That idea, not by works, is a big stumbling block for some people. We sometimes think that we have to do enough to earn God's grace and forgiveness, to act a certain way or to be a certain way, but that's not what grace is. There's a quote that I love that says, grace is getting what we don't deserve and not getting what we do deserve. And God's grace does just that. So no matter what you've done in your past, where this message hit you, if you have any regrets or doubts, just remember that as Christians, we serve a very just God with never ending grace and love for us, no matter our past.